the sheer amount of money that I spent at Comic-Con this past weekend is honestly kind of atrocious. Hey guys, what is up? It's HVL Manga here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now today's video is one that I'm very, very excited for and from the title, you can assume I am going to be talking about my experience at my first ever Comic-Con. And I wanted to kind of share with you guys my thoughts, my experience, show you guys some clips, some vlog footage that I took at the actual event, and ultimately showing you guys some of the things that I got at the event because I didn't get a lot of stuff, but I got some really cool stuff. Okay, hey guys, so it is the day of, I guess, traveling um, to Comic-Con. This is my first ever Comic-Con, and I'm actually very, very excited, but also very nervous. I'm going with some friends who have been, have some contacts, kind of know how to do everything, and I don't know anything. Uh, some of you guys gave me some really good advice on my Instagram, so thank you for doing that and for the advice. So, um, it's currently, what time is it? I don't even know. It's currently 5.40ish. Um, I just showered, I just kind of gathered everything that I needed, kind of. The drive isn't too bad. It's a couple hours, so I mean, it's, it's enough hours to kind of be annoying, but I am, very very excited the plan is leaving around maybe like 6 37 ish um and then tomorrow morning wake up decently early i'm assuming get ready and then go to comic con i am very very excited i'm only gonna be there for one day i'm only gonna be there on saturday um but i'm really excited to kind of learn what this is all about because i've always heard about this and ever since getting in the hobby it always sounded and seemed like such a fun time and experience um i'm nervous obviously but this is it's a little bit of an overkill i'm not gonna lie i'm always someone who overpacks versus underpacks just it is what it is yeah also berserk poster looks so good hopefully i'm really hoping that i can find some good manga it we you already know nothing necessarily in particular but i'm just really excited to see what they have and hopefully i don't spend too much money Okay, so at this point, it was basically Saturday morning and I was getting into my cosplay and getting ready. And you're probably asking yourselves, what was your cosplay? What was the vision? So I actually decided to go as Power from Chainsaw Man. And it was actually funny because I, so before this past weekend, so before literally Friday night and, or just like 1 a.m. Saturday morning, I was only caught up to Chainsaw Man in the physical releases. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, dude, if you are cosplaying as power from Chainsaw Man, you need to read the rest of the manga so that you have full context for the story. I just went through the rest of the Chainsaw Man manga and boy, I'm glad that I did. I literally just got a white button up shirt, a black tie, black pants. I had like white vans and like a blue kind of hoodie pullover. A couple people did recognize me as power, which was honestly super cool. They were like, dude, are you power? I'm like, yeah, I am. So Saturday morning we arrived to the venue and oh my word, when I first stepped into this massive warehouse, I was unbelievably overwhelmed. It is literally just this massive space filled with vendors and booths and stores and companies. Just literally, there were so many things to buy. They had a lot of figures, they had a lot of prints, they had a lot of comics, they they had just about everything that I could want there, and it was like, holy crap, where do I even start? 
So when we first got there, we walked around for a little bit. I was so overwhelmed that I literally was just like trying to take everything in. But the first thing that we actually did really was meet Elijah Wood. So Elijah Wood, if you don't know, is the actor of Frodo Baggins and the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series and it was genuinely so cool for my family personally lord of the rings is borderline like you kind of have to like to be in my family like if you don't like lord of the rings that's going to be a problem and we need to have a conversation but it was genuinely so cool to meet him he was really really nice we got a picture with him all this really really good stuff so we met him first and then after that literally the rest of my time was looking at booths and looking at vendors and there are a couple things that i took away from kind of experiencing Comic-Con. And I think the first thing was, I was surprised at I guess, maybe not the lack of, but like how little in comparison to everything else there was of like anime and manga. Really the only other context that I had for Comic-Con was New York City Comic-Con. And at New York City Comic-Con, there was a bunch of big manga publishers there like Kodansha, Viz, I mean, Yen Press. I mean, there was just a lot of really big names there and there was a lot of anime and manga things to see and buy and do all that sort of stuff. But at the Comic-Con that I went to, it definitely was more focused on comics, so like Marvel and DC. And not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it was something that I kind of had to adjust to because I was definitely expecting a lot more anime and manga merchandise. Even with me saying that, I did buy some really cool things. Let's get into the haul. This is probably the reason why most of you are here. I totally get it. I, I would be too. Um, so I actually got four things in total. The first thing that I actually ended up picking up is a Chainsaw Man crew neck, and it's actually the crew neck that I am currently wearing. I'll make sure to give you guys a little bit of a better view of it, but this crew neck was actually done and designed by the Anime Reserve, which is a new kind of upcoming anime merchandise company. They have a lot of really cool designs and t-shirts and pants and crew necks and hoodies. I mean, if you're looking for some really good anime merch, I definitely recommend that you guys give them a shot. The quality of the crew neck is really, really nice, and all of the designs are hand-drawn by one of the creators of this company. Support your small businesses. So, I got this crew neck, I love it. It's literally so comfy, and it's definitely going to be a staple in my wardrobe. Okay, so the next thing that I got at Comic-Con was actually a volume of manga, and this is actually the only volume of manga that I got at Comic-Con. But it's one that I've seen kind of floating around online, and I wanted to give it a shot because it just looked so dang cool, so I actually picked up Burn the Witch Volume 1. So this is a newer releasing shonen title. I believe it's set in the same world of Bleach and maybe even done by the same creator of Bleach. Truthfully, I read the first couple volumes of Bleach and didn't really love it, so I kind of dropped it. Don't hate me. But a really cool thing about this manga is, look at this. This is like a slipcover kind of thing. And then you just have this cover, I guess the actual cover of the story. Um, but regardless, I wanted to pick this up. I want to give it a shot. Apparently it has nothing to do with Bleach, which is good because again, I didn't really love Bleach. Um, but yeah, this is the only volume of manga that I picked up. I'm really excited to give this a shot and hopefully I like it. Um, I did hear from some people though that the release schedule of this manga is going to be basically non-existent because the creator is going to be working on Bleach. So that will be very interesting, but I am very excited to give this a shot. I hope I love it. I will say it's kind of like peeling up a little bit. So the last two things that I got from Comic-Con are actually figures. And I don't really know why, but I've kind of been on a bit of a figure fixation recently. I'm not really, really into figures, but I just really genuinely love the look of some of them. So the first figure is one that it's, it's interesting that I picked this up because I don't necessarily love this character. Like, I don't hate the character, but I'm not just like super in love with it. I'm really also not really in love with the series, but I just thought the figure looked so cool just in general that I'm like, you know what? I'm picking it up. So I decided to pick up the Kotobukiya Tanjiro figure. Um, I just genuinely thought this figure looked so good. The shading, the detail, just the pose, the action. Overall, it was just something that I saw and was like, you know what, do I really like Demon Slayer like that? Probably not. I can, no, I can tell you I don't. But the figure was just so cool that I decided, you know what, what the heck, I'm gonna pick this up 
Tanjiro looks freaking good. So I decided to pick it up and Kotobukiya is one of my favorite figure brands. They just always do such a good job. I think I have four figures by Kotobukiya right now. They always look so good. The details, the shading, 10 out of 10 recommend and this figure has definitely been worth it. He looks so good on my shelf. So the last figure that I decided to pick up is actually one that I've had my eyes on for the longest time but never could really find a price that I wanted or was willing to pay for for the figure. Um, but I saw him at Comic Con and it was like, it, it just needed, he needed to come home with me. So I decided to pick up, I don't entirely know what this brand is. I, again, I'm bad with figures, but it's just essentially just the super action figure of Star Platinum from JoJo's Part 3. Star Platinum is easily my favorite stand in JoJo's Part 3. I just adore him. I think he is just 10 out of 10, my favorite stand by far. He's great. Jotaro, eh, not my favorite. Honestly, he's kind of boring to me, but Star Platinum, we love Star Platinum in this household. So I saw this figure, kind of just decided to pick it up. I think it looks so good. I will say I don't really normally love posable figures just because I feel like I'm underqualified and they're gonna look stupid when I do it myself. But I think I figured it out pretty well. If you guys were on my live on Instagram when I put him together, you guys already know the struggle of getting his freaking head on. That was a problem. But overall, I really, really like this figure. I think that he looks so good. The shading, the detailing. Overall, I'm very, very impressed with this figure. And he just looks so good in front of my part three. It just felt so right. So guys, that was my Motor City Comic Con 2021 experience and haul. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Comic Con was genuinely so much fun and I definitely wanna go back. I'm actually going to a smaller local Comic Con in the beginning of November or mid-November, which I'm very, very excited for. So if you want another vlog and want a better vlog at that, of that event, please let me know and I can definitely do that for you. I love everything that I picked up and I'm so excited and so blessed and fortunate to be able to attend Comic Con. So, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.